Welcome to the homework for lesson four. This is module six of first grade. Write your name here first. And we're counting objects, filling in the number bond or place value chart. Our first page is all number bonds and our second page is gonna be all place value charts. And then complete sentences to add the tens and the ones together. So we're looking at our first one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven groups of ten. So we've been used to writing, okay, that's like seven tens, and there's six ones, and that makes 76, but it doesn't because uh, seven plus six makes 13. It doesn't make 76. This is a number bond. It's not a place value chart. So just be careful about that. It should be 70. And 6 makes 76 just like it says here in the sentence 70 and 6 make 76 70 plus 6 equals 76 because it's 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 and then here we've got 10 20 30 40 and five ones 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. If you like counting them up like that. 40 and 5 make 45. 40 plus 5 is 45. And you can always just count. You can always just count up. Count by tens and then count up the ones. And you can keep doing it if that helps you. If I'm going too fast, you can pause it, work ahead of me, and then check to see if you did it right. If you get the same answers I do, sometimes I make mistakes too. Uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. And that's five. That's a five group. And for, I can see like a 10 frame with one missing. So that's nine. 60. 9, 69 equals 60 plus 9. 9 more than 60 is 69. And now we're looking at jars of marbles. And just like a 10 frame, you can see that there should, there's one missing. So it, what? it's one less than 10, so it's 9. And those are 10s. So it's 90 because it's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. And then how many ones do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Or 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97. 97 is 90 in tens and seven ones. Seven more than 90 is 97. Please say these sentences out loud. Read them out loud. Say them with your voice. Don't just think them in your head. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. 80, and 1, 2, 3, 4. That's going to be 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 84. 80 plus 4, those are the parts. Our total is 84. How many 10s are there? Not 80. There's not 80 tens. Be careful about this. There's eight tens, right? Because there's one, if we just count how many tens there are, that's a ten, that's a ten, that's a ten, that's three, four, five, six, seven, that's eight tens. Not 80 tens. Eight tens plus four ones is 84. Get ready for the place value charts here, because that's coming up where we're counting groups of tens uh, on the next page. So here we have... 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. And this is 5, 6, 7, 8. It's for 50, 8. 50 plus 8. That's just the number sentence, the addition sentence from this number bond, 58. You could have written 8 plus 50. That would be just as valid. How many 10s are there? There's five tens. How many ones? There's eight ones. Five tens and eight ones is 58. Now this is just all trying to get you to see, uh, to 
understand what we call place value, where you see the 5 is for 5 tens and the 8 is for 8 ones for 58. When you look at a number, that's just how we do it. And now here we are, we're counting tens, right? Because place value chart now, instead of number bonds, we need one, two, three, four, five tens. Not 50 tens, five tens. It equals 50 pencils, but it's five tens. And this is one, two, three, four, five, six ones, 50 plus six, 56. Five tens, six ones is 56. And here we have one, two, three, four, five, six tens. And ones, we have five, six, seven, eight. Sixty plus eight is sixty-eight. That's six tens. How many ones? Eight ones. Sixty. Eight. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty. That's six tens. And the pictures of the Dianus blocks, we have how many 10 sticks do we have? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 tens is the same as 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. And this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 ones. 70 plus 5, 70. 71, 72, 73, 74, 75. Seven tens, five ones, 75. How many tens do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Rats, I was hoping there would be ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It really is just nine. Nine tens. That's 90, right? Because it's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. And zero ones is just 90. Nine tens, which I know because I counted them three times. And zero ones is 90. Complete the sentences to add the tens and the ones. So what's 80 plus 6? That's 80. Six, you can count it up if you if you need to. 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86. Uh, here you've got 57 for a total. So you, I mean, you could, if you need to, and you don't have to do this, but you could think of this as a number bond and say, well, I know what the total is. And I know one of the parts is seven. What's the missing part? I need the 50. Or you could draw a place value chart, and this will work for any of these problems. This one's tens, that's ones. Well, I know there's seven ones, and I know I need to have 57 for the whole number, so what I need is I'm missing the fifth, the five tens, and five tens is 50. You could do it that way too. But you might, you might be able to just look at these and know what they are, but be careful. And you'll see why when we get to the end. Here's nine tens, and how many ones is going to be the number 95? Well, we have the nine tens here. What we need is the five more ones there. And now look at this. This says ones and tens. We're used to seeing the tens first, the tens on the left, and then the ones on the right. But as you know, in a number bond, or in addition, you can put the add ends in any order you want and get the same total. So I'm just going to make this place value chart to show this. How many ones are there? There's four ones. How many tens are there? There's eight tens. That's the number 84, not the number 48. So if you rush this one, uh, don't be too hard on yourself because it's kind of it's it's a little bit tricky if you just get to the end and you think you know how to do everything and you're feeling pretty good about it. Got to keep paying attention and keep reading.